So uh, I broke my finger uh, recently, roller skating for the first and last time. It was my youngest daughter's sixth birthday. She wanted to go roller skating. I said, I'll come, I'll watch, I'll help. But I don't want to do it because of what happened when I went ice skating for the first and last time. <laughs> Basically, I can walk. That's how I got here, you might have seen. Um, my theory is, why put things on your feet that make that harder? <laughs> I was persuaded. They said, no, roller skating's different from ice skating. The other thing is, I've got nerve damage, right, in this arm. I can grip with this hand, right, but I can't, I can't do that. Well, obviously, I can do that. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that with this hand. Uh, doesn't really restrict me, to be honest. <laughs> Unless I'm at one of those extreme right-wing meetings. You know, <laughs> you know, we have to salute the two Hitlers. <laughs> it's just like I'm mocking one. <laughs> anyway, they said, no, roller skating's different from ice skating. It's the same. So, but the same thing happens when I went ice skating the first and last time. In that, I had the skates on. Right? I was holding on to the side. An adult went past on skates, and I, I thought, oh, it is possible. <laughs> Come on, give it a go. And I pushed off, and I remember thinking to myself, actually, this isn't so... That was it. Bang! <laughs> broke my finger, this little finger here. And what they do these days, if you break a finger, they don't put it in plaster like they used to. What they do these days is they strap it to the next one so it can learn. <laughs> Surprised they don't do it with the unemployed.